In the spirit of the holidays, Blizzard has finally decided to buff the classes that needed it the most. Which apparently was Mage? I'm sure we can all agree that they've clearly had a rough year. Alright, enough with the jokes. Today, we got a short update to our Mythic Plus tier list for Season 3. And after this video is over, be sure to check out skillcap.com where we've just added a brand new course. We worked with Echo's very own Miras to produce exclusive guides for Season 3 dungeons where you can learn expert level tips from one of the best players of all time in a new series that is almost 3 hours long and filled with information you need to climb. When you combine this with our growing library of class courses, you have everything you need to hit your rating goals. As always, we continue to offer a rank of guarantee where we promise that you will gain at least 500 IO score while using our guides. So after this video, visit the links below with an exclusive discount code to sign up for skillcap.com today. Anyway, back to the video. Let's start with Melee and the one spec that saw some big gains. Windwalker Monks woke up on Tuesday to a big list of damage buffs and will be rolling their way to the A tier. The hotfixes included big damage increases to some core rotational abilities, giving the spec a newfound confidence in Mythic Plus. In the preseason, we might have overhyped Windwalker Monk, but now we're more confident in placing them in the high tiers this time given these changes. After these buffs, Monks are doing really great single target damage and are putting out much better numbers on low count cleave. Combine their newly beefed up damage with a fairly unique utility toolkit, and you have a spec great for Mythic Plus, at least in the right comp. With the current strength of Mistweaver, the Monk slot is a bit more competitive, but will definitely be huge value in any melee focus group, especially with a Resto Druid as a healer. And would you look at that, we have our new melee tier list. One thing that is worth mentioning is that we are moving Outlaw Rogue back up to the S tier. Not because it suddenly got better, but because Havoc got slightly nerfed. This has closed the gap between these two specs, and with a small nerf to Assassination Rogue, Outlaw is now clearly the best Rogue spec in the 5-man format. While Assassination is able to put out some impressive numbers even after nerfs, it does require some assistance from the group due to the need to re-stealth, getting those improved Garrets out for big damage. Because of this, we're merging it into the A tier to join the other high-performing melee. One of these melee is Enhancement Shaman, who actually received a small buff in the patch with some additional spell damage reduction, which is nice, but doesn't really address the core survivability issue of the entire Shaman class. To reflect this change and to simplify our tier list, we've merged Enhancement Shaman into the A tier with other high-performing melee. Speaking of which, we will be keeping Ret Paladin on the A tier for now despite getting some buffs. 3% increased damage is not enough to warrant any major changes, and once again Havoc is still the best melee even after repeated nerfs. This is pretty par for the course when it comes to class reworks, they get massively buffed and gradually become more balanced with the rest of the pack. Currently though, Demon Hunter continues to have a lead over other melee. Now it's time to move on to ranged DPS starting with our biggest winners. In case you missed it, every mage spec was on the receiving end of some pretty substantial damage buffs, so let's break things down to see how this affects our previous rankings. Perhaps the biggest winner was Arcane Mage, who is jumping all the way up to the S tier from its previous B tier position. Arcane was already doing some impressive numbers prior to these buffs, but appeared to be a bit too cooldown dependent to really have a spot on the high tiers. Arcane's impressive priority and AoE damage are enough to warrant a spot on the S tier. One additional thing worth mentioning is that Arcane is a really undervalued external with Mass Barrier. Prismatic Shield is arguably the best barrier due to its magic damage reduction, making this 2 minute cooldown exceptionally good on some fights. The only remaining concern for Arcane is that its CDs don't really line up with Breath of Eons, but as long as an Augmentation Evoker isn't in the group, this is obviously a non-issue. Next up is Frost Mage, who we previously had on the A tier, but will now be moving its way up to S. Frost saw some pretty big buffs to major rotational spells affecting both their single target and cleave damage. Frost was already in a good position as arguably the best mage spec, so all these buffs did was help solidify the spec as a true pumper. The same can be said for Fire Mage, who was also on the A tier during our last update, but will also be moving to the S tier. Just like Frost, Fire saw big damage buffs to their core rotational spells, which helps their single target cleave and AoE DPS. Once again, we have a case of a great spec getting even better, and you really can't go wrong playing any mage spec this season. And with that in mind, we have our updated rankings for range DPS in Mythic Plus. There were some additional specs that got buffed in the hotfixes, including both Affliction and Destro Warlocks. For the meantime, we will be keeping both of these specs on the B tier, but as wildcards, meaning they could wind up outperforming our predictions if we see some more data. Affliction saw some big buffs to its AoE damage, including Soul Rot, which is the core spell of their tier set. It's possible that these buffs could wind up bumping Affliction and Destro up, but currently it seems like Demo is the clear winner. 
Another spec that saw some buffs was Devastation of Ochre, who got a moderate damage increase to an AoE spell and a flat buff to overall damage. This is great news for any Devastation of Ochre, but unfortunately, Augmentation still exists and is eating up any potential for Dev to have a solidified role in Mythic Plus. Finally, both Elemental Shaman and Shadow Priest got some much needed buffs, but it's hard to say whether these will bump up their overall performance. For now, we will be moving them up to the B tier with the caveat that we still need more data to make a solid assessment. Moving on, let's cover the one healer that saw gains in the latest round of hotfixes. Restoration Shaman will now be moving its way up, joining Preservation of Ochre and Holy Paladin on the A tier. Shaman saw a few key healing buffs, including a big increase to Healing Surge, which should make it much better at spot healing this season. As one of the standout healers in Season 1, Resto Shaman has gone up and down the tier list in recent patches, with healing output being a big limiting factor for its success. These buffs definitely help with spot healing, but don't really seem to address the core issue of Shaman, which is its relatively weak AoE healing tools. Outside of major CDs, Shamans can really struggle with AoE damage and need a really long time to ramp compared to other healers. In any case, we think Shaman is definitely in a good position now, but is still lagging behind the ultra high tiers. And with that, we have our updated healer rankings, with the big three still being Disc Priest, Mistweaver Monk, and Resto Druid. Despite getting some nerfs, we will be keeping Mistweaver on the S tier. The nerfs don't really impact the spec's Mythic Plus healing toolkit, where most of its throughput continues to come from spinning in a circle every pull. Mistweaver is continuing to put out impressive numbers in Mythic Plus and is one of the few specs that can actually funnel heal, which allows it to manage bigger pulls. Another healing spec to see changes was Preservation of Ochre, who got a buff to a talent that doesn't really see much play in Mythic Plus. Because of this, there will be no change to their previous A tier position. The last healer to see buffs was Holy Priest, getting a small nudge to overall healing and a buff to Prayer of Mending. For now, we will be keeping it on the B tier simply because Disc is clearly a much better spec and Holy can't really compete with its damage or utility. And finally, we will move straight onto Tanks where there were absolutely no changes. Okay, maybe there was a small nerf to Vengeance, but it's still arguably the best tank in the game. Demon Hunters are not only able to do a bunch of damage, but have great survivability, unique control, and one of the better raid debuffs to help pump up the egos of any mage in the group. Once again, the tanking meta really hasn't changed much since our initial predictions. Most specs are highly competitive, even Guardian Druid, which is still managing to push high keys this season. Anyway, we said this is going to be a short update. If you're looking to rank up in the new year, be sure to check out skillcap.com using the links below, where you can preview all of our amazing class courses and dungeon guides, and learn more about our rank up guarantee, which promises you will gain at least 500 IO while using our guides. As always, though, we want to thank you all for watching. We hope you all have a great holiday season. See you soon.